Hello and welcome to a uh, jQuery slideshow tutorial. This is the third time I've attempted it. And it's always gone wrong. Internet being crap. Me not doing it right. Anyway. Enough of the negativeness. This is what we're going to be creating. It's a very simple slideshow. Obviously, could be quite effective on a site. Okay, then. I haven't seen this tutorial on YouTube, so I thought, let's go be nice to people. Right then. What I've done here, I've created my HTML head and body tags. I've linked a CSS file called thing.css, which is here, it's got nothing in it. And jQuery. I've linked or reference to the Google's GitHub version of jQuery because it has its benefits when on a server, like it caches. I'll let you read up on that stuff. It's all cool. And a JavaScript file called stuff.js. Nothing in it yet. Um, I'm just going to make the three buttons that you can see here. Um, let's create these buttons. Input type equal button. Simples. Oh, need to put that. Give it a value of one. Okay, I want to create three buttons. If you're new to coding, obviously write these out. Don't copy and paste it like I just did. So if you write it out you'll get a lot more practice and you'll learn it quicker. Um, let's see what this does. Let's hope my internet works this time. Yeah, this gives us three buttons. Um I kinda just paused the video because my family just came in and I've completely forgotten what I was talking about. But yeah, um this creates three buttons. Right then. I'm going to give these all of ID of their value. You'll realise this why in a minute. Okay then. Now. Let's create the actual slideshow bit. I'll make a div and I'll give you an ID of container. You can call it just by container. I'll add a word first one. You can call it if you want. Let's call it container because it makes sense to me. Now, inside the container, our slides are going to be unordered list things. ULs and LIs. Obviously, we have three of these, so we need three LIs. Now, inside, oh, I'll do this now. Actually, no, I'm going to add my content. So, mine is this. You should know what these lines mean. If not, basically makes a header, then makes a new line. Okay, I'll show you what this does at the moment. Makes this. Okay. We're going to give our URLs and LIs IDs. We're going to give this an ID of sub container. Mainly because it sounds quite cool. Now that I was going to give them a class. Oh, I should have done that later. The class of it. Alright. Now we're going to do some CSSing. Oh, tired. Alright. Gonna start with our container. I'm 
I'm going to give it position relative. Then we're going to give it a width of 550 pixels. You can obviously change these to what, so what suits you. A height of 500 pixels. Background color of this color. will give us this. Obviously, and as you can tell, this is going to be our slideshow container. It's where our slideshow will be. So, doesn't look very slideshowy at the moment, does it? Let's see if we can change this. Where was it? Yeah. Um. Add a class of stuff to this. The reason I'm doing class is because um, each of the slideshows is going to have the same properties. So it'll be slightly quicker. Oh, bollocks. I'm a genius and just closed it. Let me just. Uh, Find it. Oh, smooth. There we go. Back. Yay. Right. The reason this is an ID is because we're going to reference it with JavaScript later, and it'll be quicker inside JavaScript to do an ID instead of class. Um, Paul Irish goes through this. Um, I'll put a link to him in the description helpful um, let's go do some more CSSing what we're going to do is we're going to do the sub container first which is this way if you remember we're going to give it a width of 10,000 pixels for the minute the reason for this being is if you go to this, this is all gonna. If this, oh, hang on, I can show you easier than I can tell you. I hope. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Just... Okay, this is what it looks like. And of course, if I've only set, if this wasn't there, I'll just go one underneath the other. So I need to put the width big, so that I can fit all of my slides here. And then, all I'm doing basically is, when I click 2, it moves it along. Simple stuff. That's why it has a width of 10,000 pixels. We're going to give it a position absolute. The reason for this is, it could be relative, but because I'm, I'm using this, is because this is so, when we do the animation in jQuery, it actually works. For some reason, when I do animate, it doesn't work unless I have this. Don't know why. But that's it. All this would have done is just offset it a bit. Done this. Obviously, these buttons do nothing yet. Um, let's make it more interesting. Let's do our dot stuff. I'm called class. I'm going to display it as a block. Float it left. All this will do is it'll make each li object a block of this size, or well, it will be in a minute. 
and then it would align them one next to each other. Otherwise, it would just go downwards and want it that way. I mean, unless you want it to go outwards. But I'll let you figure that out yourself. Give it a width of 550 pixels. You could do 100% here, but no, you can 550 pixels. Do that. Because mine's only text, I'm going to put the word wrap on. That way, it doesn't go over the 550 pixels. Because if it does, when you go across, it won't work. Won't try. And I've lost my cursor. Oh my god. Right. That's all the CSS there is. It's pretty simple. At least I think it is. And that will give you this. Oh, not all the CSS. One more thing. As you can see, it has as if there's three blocks on it to each other. As you see, it's almost like I showed him in here. To make it so you can't see these two, and you can only see what's inside this container, you go to um, container and you put overflow double hidden which means anything not inside it hidden um, and let's add some more text to our thing at the moment it looks a bit boring down there Perfectos. Go to here. And voila, we have text. Now, onto the jQuery. Now, am I? Yeah. Oh. Okay. We want this to work once a document has loaded, so document dot ready. When it's ready, we're going to call a function. What well, we would if I could spell it. So we want to make a few variables. You can, it's outside the document already. It's just, there's no point at the moment. Okay. What we want to do is. We're going to state how we're going to make some variables one of them stating how wide this is just the good one so we know how far it has to go that way and for that we're going to call it um, slide width equals 550 We're then going to say what position we're in at the moment. So we're going to go slide pos equal one. You don't need this comma. You could go. This, that is exactly the same as typing that. As so I find this to look nicer. Okay. We're then going to. So when we click our button, call this function. As you can see, this our button is called one. So when I click one, I want you to call another function it's called rotate. And all this function will do is basically, as you can see here, like the one, the original one. It will rotate between the slides. Okay. Right then. Let's make this function rotate then. We want to make slide distance. All this is, is basically going to be how far we need to slide our. Mm -hmm 
slides. Before we do that, we want to send, make another variable called target slide. And so here we're going to go target slide minus slide pos. Hmm. Oh yeah, times it by slide width. So all this does is, all we do is, our target slide is a slide we want to go to, which is slide 1, say. And all it does is, you target slide minus slide pass, which finds the difference between where you are and where you want to go, times it by how many pixels that is, that would be how many pixels you have to travel. Simple enough? Okay. Now, this is why we did the ID for our sub container. Sub container dot animate. I spell that right? Okay. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do it. Yeah. We're going to have a 500, it's going to take 700 seconds, and it's Moving. Right. We're going to go left because we are. What's it called? Floating to the left. Right. Left. Minus equals slide distance. The reason I'm saying using the plus is because this is going to be a string value. This is all one string value. So I'm just adding this to the string. Symbols. In theory, this should work. Once we've added a few more of our buttons. We've got three. So I'm going to go two, three. Let's hope this works. Okay. Let's refresh the page. Hmm. Doesn't want to work for some reason. Oh yeah, silly me. Need to change the dog slides. Right now, this should work. As you can see. Oh, one thing I forgot. The reason this doesn't work. Well, it has worked, but it hasn't worked well. It's because I haven't reset the slide position. So, I'll just add this. And obviously, because if you click in number two, your slide position will become two. The reason I'm putting it after my function is because I'm using slide position in this. So I put it after the function. Should work. Perfectly now. There we go. And that's how to make a jQuery slider. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.